If there's one thing I don't do enough on this channel, it's checking out the cars that get the most downloads on GTA5mods.com. And I just wanted to check this out because this is the most downloaded car for the last 30 days from the website. And obviously, there's a lot of people downloading it, so it must be good, right? Let's just check it out. It's this. It's Mercedes AMG GT or G GTS, GTC, GT, ma many other letters, I think. I think this is like a combination of many different versions of the GT. I've got to admit, I actually don't know much about these. Modern cars like this uh, have eluded me because I don't really pay attention. They sort of just become a blur to me at this point. I know what you're saying, fake car fan, but yeah, it's not really something they're cool. I just haven't really paid much attention to them. So I thought we'd have a look at this because one thing I've noticed with cars like this and uh, where they've been made into GTA 5 mods is they're very detailed. I think they make these from like Forza models or something like that. And uh, well, let's see what sort of detail we have. So there's actually some incredible detail. If I zoom in, look at that is very, we've even got the AMG written there. All nice and HD, definitely. Oh, it even says Mercedes Benz. There is a lot of detail to this. Then we've got all the front grille. We've got some more AMG badging. I do like this color. It's a very nice color. It's a V8 by Turbo. And as you can see, we have the GTC badge. So I guess this is a, the GTC. And there is our back end. Right. I'm just going to go ahead and open up some doors and stuff. Just in case we have any sort of like removable roof or anything like that. It looks like it's a soft top that might come down. And then we have convertible roof down. Oh, look at that. What a fantastic job. What a fantastic job that is. Brilliant. Absolutely love it. I mean, you don't really see that often with mods where they have all of that cool extra stuff, like the convertible roof. But anyway, we have here on the trunk, we've got... I don't even know what on earth these things are. They, um, Should they be there? I don't think they're supposed to be there. I don't think that's a thing that is just there. Am I wrong? Anyway, we have a carpeted boot. Actually got some carpet texture on it. And then through to the front, we have an engine cover with like a PCB design on it. It says handcrafted by Cyberdyne Systems, the Mercedes AMG. I've never actually looked under the bonnet of one of these things. I don't know what they look like, but apparently this is it. So actually, let's just go ahead and shut that trunk down. I want to see if we can get that roof back up again. Oh, that is so awesome. Oh, and even the windows go back up. Love it. So anyway, there's the engine bay and now to probably never see it again. Oh, and also on the interior, let's take a quick look at that. Got some very nice detailing on all the seats, AMG badging, all of that going on. Very nice. I love this texture on the dashboard. That is a very nice, high quality texture. It's awesome. Look at that. Let's get a nice zoomed in. Get some nice HD details for everyone there. Then we have all the stereo, which has all the My Mac stuff and everything. And your current, that's actually not the current map placement, but uh, it does at least have all the radio information and everything, which is pretty cool. We have all of the details down there. There's one thing I've got to say is that these modern cars all have lots of details, but I have a feeling it is because they are taken from another game. I'm not sure if this has actually been modelled by the mod maker. Although, I am happy to be proved wrong. But there we go. There is all of the steering wheel and everything with Mike's legs just sort of glitching through, but we'll ignore that. So onto the mods then. We actually have ornaments in here, which is actually just a bunch of bobbleheads. I don't know why you'd want that. And right in front of the radio as well. Perhaps not the best placement for them. But if you wanted to have the bobblehead, you can have that. I guess, actually, we really don't see that in mods these days. I forgot these even existed. These are back from, like, back when, like, Benny's first came out for GT Online. Which feels like forever ago now. But we do have all these bobbleheads. I'm sure you guys have seen this. I don't think there's anything new here. That's all just the original stuff. Well, we'll keep that stock. Okay, so for the spoilers, we have this marker here. Not sure what that is about. But we then have this, the AMG GTR spoiler, which I guess is like an always up spoiler because this stock spoiler does actually move. If we were to like pick up some speed here. I do like how this handles, by the way. It's a little bit slippery, but it's not that bad. There you go. You can see there's the spoiler going up right there. So actually we can test this as we're driving. So we have this spoiler here, which doesn't actually adjust at any point. Seems to just stay stationary. Then we also have the AMG lip. Oh no, it does seem to go back up and down. Am I wrong here? Let's have a look. Oh, it seems to like combine the two. Okay. Oh, it does say to go to Los Santos Customs to fix duplicate spoilers. That now, now I understand what that means. Okay. But we have the lip spoiler, which has this tiny little lip there at the bottom. And then we also have the wide body spoiler, 
Ooh, this is fruity. Okay. Okay, let's find somewhere new to park because there was like a fly noise that was bugging me <laughs> at that last place. So uh, let's just park up here instead. So I like the sound of a wide body, so I'm going to go for the wide body one. On the front bumper, we have quite a few options. We have the GTR bumper. Ooh, that's nice. I do like that GTR bumper. We also have this GTC bumper here. That's comparing it to the stock right there. That's pretty meaty looking. Then we have this. This is the GT Split 1. How does that compare to stock? Ah, this had splitters. Okay. So we have three different splitters for that one. Then we also have the GTR bumper with those three splitters. And then we have the GTC bumper with the three splitters. I do like the GTC. And I do like the GTR. I'm going to go for the GTC. That's a little bit different. I quite like that. And then I think on the splitter 1, we also have this bit down the side here which we don't have with the others that I do quite like. So I'm going to go for that. Then on the rear bumper, we have the stock. We have the GTR. I'm not too sure on that. That's a little bit too busy for me, especially with that vent. I've never really liked that vent that I've seen on these. It's never really done it for me. I'm sure it has a use. I just, you know, these sort of like thin slot vent things just make me think of like those thin moustaches that you see. <laughs> I just sort of get that same feeling, and it's really hard to unsee it. But then we have that. I think the GTC bumper looks a lot better. Compared to stock, actually, I like that stock bumper. But, all right. Then we also have this. Ooh, this is the GT version with the diffuser. We might have to go for one of these, I think. Diffuser number one, two, and three. And then we have those other ones with those same diffusers right there. I'm going to go for... It's even going to be this one, because it's got this bit down on the side here. Mind you, we have that one. That one's wider. That one gets rid of that. I'm going to go for number one. Then on the skirts, we have the stock. We have this extended skirt down here. And then we also have this skirt right here. I'm not really too sure about that. I mean, I do want to try and make a sort of like racy car style one. So maybe we'll go for that because that sort of adds with that bit at the back as well. And that bit on the front. On the exhaust, this is going to be the AMG 3rd exhaust. That doesn't even add anything. Ah, uh, this must be for the GTR bumper. Okay, right. Let's just have a look for it. Ah, I see. Adds that bumper there in the middle. Right, I got you. Also, just noticed that those diffusers on the back were actually different between bumpers. They had a little thing differently on the GTR and GTC models. Actually, it seems like I'm making this all like a, a GTC. Let's just go for that one right there with the center exhaust as it comes out of that hole there is that actually a, is, is that actually an exhaust there through the vent i don't think it is but never mind we'll keep it on the chassis we have wide kit a Ooh, crazy okay we are definitely going to be needing v stancer for this one then we also have wide kit b this also adds oh it also adds another extra bit at the bottom okay i'm gonna go for a and i'm just gonna set the rear bumper Back to the GTC one. That's better. And also, we'll get rid of that exhaust because it's not really one. Then on the grill, we have... I think these might be... Oh, okay. So we have the 2019 lights. Also, do note that I am actually indicating right here. It's just very hard to see. There you go. The indicator lights are just sort of there. Then from that, we also have this which adds the dark lights to the rear. Okay. And then we also have that one with dark lights to the rear... And the original lights on the front. Okay, so we've got a couple of combinations there. Uh, I actually quite like those 2019 lights, but I don't like the dark lights at the back, so I'll just keep that. On the hood, we have the fins right there. Oh, yes, yes, okay, that's very that's very Mercedes. And then we also have this with the uh, hood vent in the middle there. I want to go all out, so I'm just going to go all out for that one and just go for both. And then we can upgrade the engine, the brakes, transmission, make this as fast as we can. If we drop this, there we go. It's a, it's a nice, uh, respectable drop there. Windows, uh, we could actually have a blacked out tint if we wanted, but I'm going to keep that stock because it's actually got a little bit of a green tint already. On the extras, oh, who, what are these going to be? Okay, so extra two is just to show you like a, a rear reverse cam thing. Hang on, is that actually tied? Hang on, we're going to have to test this now. Let's just get back inside here. It is. Ooh, that is a nice, that's a nice detail. It's basically just taken the same sort of texture that is used for the rear view mirror and just turned it into a parking camera. 
That is really cool. I like that. Oh, an extra one at the back just adds these little blockers here for the number plate, but I quite like it being just all open. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to keep that all open. And we'll add a turbo. And I guess if at this point you are into modding cars in single player GTA and you got this far and you don't have V Stancer, congratulations, your car looks awful. But we have V Stancer, so we can actually add some crazy wheels to this and actually make it fit in the arch properly. Right, this is going to be fun trying to find a set of wheels that match this car. The problem is, is these wheels are very tunery and this car very much isn't. So I'm just going to go for something simple and not too crazy. I'm just going to go for this. This is wheel number 327 currently uh, from the uh, Law Friendly Wheels mod. Right, let's find a better colour for this. Okay, I've stumbled on bright orange and I love it. Absolutely love it. I've definitely been in a yellowy, orangey car mood lately and this is just ticking all of the boxes. And with the black wheels, I think this looks great. All we've got to do now is go to v Stancer. Let's just go for tyres. Maybe we can get a bit more wheel width on that one. Why not? And then we just go to our track width and we bring that out so that it actually fits in the arches a bit better. And there we go. I didn't want to have it poking out too much because I didn't want it to look totally unrealistic. I will... I'm going to do a stance build in a second. But uh, for this one, I think that's actually dialed in pretty nice. Ooh, and also you can see the dials that we have there. We like the... Um, the number for the gear that you're in, everything like all oh, the rev counter, the boost gauge. Very cool. Oh, that sounds nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to continue doing something like this. Maybe every month I will feature, like at the end of the month, I will feature like the top car for that month, like the most downloaded car mod. Unless I've already done that car, then it'd be the second or whatever. But uh, if you guys think that's a good idea, let me know. That's just something I thought I'd try out on the channel. Because obviously, these cars are downloaded by a lot of people for a reason. And I get it. This car is really nice. It's really nice quality build. Lots of tuning parts. Very nice indeed. Right, I'm going to do a stance build, and then we're going to finish this up. <laughs> right, let's see if it's possible to stance one of these things. And, well, here we go. I decided to get a little bit safe, but at the same time, a little bit risky. I pushed the boat out a little bit. And so I decided, seems like we had the dark and color rear lights, I decided to go for a murdered outlook. In fact, I can actually go even one step further than this and we can add in the window tints. There we go. Now it's full murdered outlook right there. But I wanted to add a bit of color. I wanted to add a bit of something. So with this whole slam down stance look with these wide wheels, I decided to make them purple. Because why not? I think purple's a nice color. I'm definitely in a very purple mood. I've definitely lowered that so much that it's actually lower than the road paint. <laughs> I have actually heard of someone who like ripped the oil sump off their car from the paint on the road because their car was that low because obviously the paint adds a little bit of thickness and a little bit of a bump. And I do know someone that ripped their oil pan off on a line when they changed lanes. <laughs> so it's actually quite funny that we've managed to get that so low that on certain bits of road, it does actually go lower than the lines. But here we are. We've got a little bit of glitching out on V-Stancer just because we have definitely slammed this. I also made the wheel smaller just so I can get this even more slammed to the ground. And it has got it very low. I think I have actually pushed it perhaps just a little bit too far there because it is actually glitching through the road. But satin black paint... Black windows, black rear lights, and just a bit of colour on the wheels. I think that's actually a pretty solid look. And also, just as we're finishing up, I have actually noticed that because we've got that third exhaust, we do actually have a third set of flames coming through as well. That's pretty fun. <laughs> but there we go, guys. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have watched all the way to the end of this video, I keep forgetting to do this. You can say attack attacko in the comment section below. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.